Anyway, how's it going outside, Lonnie? Another sticky day outside. Yeah, look, the humidity still in place, the heat still in place, and we have had some showers and storms kicking in, and some of them have been on the severe side. That's a great looking shot right now. Partly sunny sky overhead. It is 85 degrees as we speak. The high temperature was 90 in the city. That's day four of the Central Park heat wave. But look at how uniform the air mass is. Nobody was cool today. I mean, the Hamptons hitting 87 so, off, so, so often. I show you the east end. I say, hey, the ocean influence. Nope. Today, everybody hot, everybody feeling like you were over the 90 degree mark when you factor in humidity. And we do have some showers and storms erupting. There is one right here that is severe. I want to zoom in tight there, up around just north of Wantage, the uh, that border there of Sullivan and Orange County. So we're going to track this. The concern here would be there are still some strong winds out there. We've got some winds blowing in southern uh, Sullivan County, 50 mile per hour gusts or stronger. A lot of lightning strikes as well. It gets to Middletown, 630. Blooming Grove, 640. Monroe at 651, 659. It's into Warwick. This cell right here, just south of Elizabeth now with the strongest rain. It's smaller. Still got a bit of a punch to it, though. It's not severe, but it's going to push through. Rahway at 626. Avenal, 630. Woodbridge at uh, 633. Perth Amboy at 637. And then down around Jersey, Lakewood, right on the county line between Monmouth and Ocean County. That line pushing south. That will get to Brick at 621. Pine Lake Park at 633. Tom's River gets to you at 640. Lacey to you at 652. And Forked River, 657. So it's not as widespread as it was yesterday, but there's still... Uh, a strong storm here or there. And it's a possibility throughout the nighttime hours. By 10 o'clock, they should fade away. We're going to watch this front push through, bringing us drier, cooler air by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. So look at this. 8 o'clock tonight, not entirely done, a lot less activity, and even less still by the time we get to say 10, 11 o'clock, it fades away. 5 30. We talk about that front coming through the area, bringing us cooler air. Less humidity. Well, there's sort of the edge of the cloud cover, just like that. See that? Thicker cloud cover south, right? But that's the edge. All right, we would love to be breaking into that clear air at 5:30. The sun rises tomorrow at 5:24. It is going to be a partial eclipse sunrise. It only happened twice since the 1800s. We're not going to see another one uh, for like another 58 years. This is my chance to see one. It happens tomorrow. Uh, we'll be covering this live at CBS 2 uh, this morning. I'm going to be situated right there on the Connecticut shoreline. We may have to change our location. We may have to go a little farther to the north, but again, it's a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it takes place tomorrow morning. 79 is the high temperature. Not as hot, not as humid. Then only 69 to 72 for, for Friday's high temperature. A slight chance for a shower on Friday, but the weekend is trending better. 76 Saturday, 77 on Sunday. Little chance for a late shower on Sunday, but all in all, uh, not a bad weekend that comes that, that's lying out there. It's nothing like the weekend we had with all that steam heat. That gets erased, and it's a pretty nice-looking weekend for this time of the year. Guys, sure all is. yours. All right. Thanks, Lonnie.